What's up ninjas? Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to paint your rifle. So if you've been following along, I'm doing the 20 inch piston driven build with the Adams Arms piston kit. So I just got the handguard in today and I'm going to paint this thing with a little camo pattern. So the first thing you want to do when painting your rifle is decide what color you want. So I went with a camo. There's a bunch of different Rust-Oleum camouflage and then they didn't have a dark green with the Rust-Oleum. So I got the Fusion the Krylon Fusion, and this is also a paint plus primer, so this is going to be my base coat. First thing you want to do is prepare your surface, so go ahead and get something like a Scotch-Brite pad, and you just want to scuff up the entire area, just to give the paint a little more surface area to bond to. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing scuffed up, and then we'll go ahead and get the base coat put on. Alright, so now as you can see, we've got it scuffed up a little bit. This doesn't really have to be perfect. This Krylon Fusion is pretty good about sticking to pretty much anything, so you you really, if you don't want to, you don't have to scuff it up, but I like to do it. Now we have a bunch of green fibers all over the place, so I'm going to have to take this out and blow it off, and then we can get to painting it. So I just got it all blown off. I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions on the spray paint can. Shake it up very well, and we want to keep it between between 55 and 75 degrees. Now you want to have a well ventilated area. As you can see, I got the garage door open. Last time I did it outside, I got a bunch of dust all over it. So we'll try for inside. I got the garage door open. I got the door open behind me. So we're just going to do light skim coats at first. We don't want to completely soak this thing. Hold it about eight to 10 inches away and just kind of skim, skim it. So far it's turning out pretty good. I don't know how well the green shows up on camera. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to let this dry and I'll probably do another coat of this and then we'll work on the camo pattern. Just applied the second coat, went over any spots that I missed. All right, so now that the base coat's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of spritz it with some different colors. There's no really right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of want to make it unique and try to make it look like a camo pattern. I also got some advice from uh, my buddy Big Germ. I'll link his channel down in the description. He's got some cool stuff. You guys should check him out. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it. I got a tan, a tan and a light green. Pretty cool little pattern, I guess little blend of the different colors. And then uh, I'm gonna go get the paper towel and we'll do some dapping. So I forgot to click record when I did this, but uh, there's the, the tan color. I just took some paint on a paper towel. And we'll just uh, do a little dap. Kind of blend it in there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to kind of make it your own. All right, we got the brown. Just kind of dap it on there. Not bad. I actually like how it turned out. You can take a leaf and kind of do an outline like that, but I just wanted to do something simple and it actually turned out pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Would you ever paint your rifle or would you rather not? I think I'm done with it. Turned out pretty fine. Like I said, everyone's got their own opinions, but personally, I think it looks pretty cool with the, the camo, so let me know what you think, and let's go get this thing put together. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. It actually turned out pretty nice, just kind of different patterns and stuff with the paper towel method. 
Uh, the only spot I really don't like is this right here, but I can always go back over that. I was just kind of in a hurry to get this thing painted. Overall, I like the way it turned out, and like I said earlier, you can use like leaves or a mesh material to make your own patterns, but I just wanted something simple, and so far, I like it. Could it have been better? Yeah, but honestly, it's it's not too big of a concern. I just kind of wanted a, a DIY camo look, and it's it's okay. Let me know if you guys have painted your rifles before. This is actually the first camo paint job that I've done. I painted the bolt action build, but it's all white, so it's not as intricate as this. Let me know if you guys have ever done any rifle painting and uh, what you guys think about this paint job. And stay tuned for the full build video. We got the Adam's Arms kit. So right after I film this, I'm going to go ahead and get it all put back together and I'll do a video on that too.